So how do you create one of the fastest external SSD drives for the Mac? Stay tuned. All right, one of my other videos I actually attached, I created an SSD drive with the standard Jasada SSD drive. I was using a Samsung Evo, or actually a QVO, and I showed how fast you can create like an external drive on your uh, Mac OS. Today what I'm gonna do is actually, it's time to open up this. This is actually gonna be the, it's from Inland. It was only like 50 or $60, but it's basically a 512 gigabyte, and it's an MVME um, M.2. So this is what it is right here. And this basically, again, is, is an Inland Premium. You can get it from Micro Center. It says it's read speeds up to 3,100 megabytes, and it says it's uh, write speeds are 1,900 megabytes. So obviously we're not gonna get quite that speed with this because of the throughput that we're using, um, but we should get hopefully a lot faster than a standard SSD drive, external, external SSD drive for storage and things like that. And I'm actually gonna run the OS off this pretty soon. That'll be in another video, but I'm actually gonna run the Mac OS off an external drive just like this to see how fast I can get, you know, how fast can I actually get uh, the OS to run. So we'll try that in a second, but first let's go ahead and test the drive out. So this is actually the, the drive that I'm using again, and you saw it earlier. And uh, what I'm gonna use for the external drive is basically, it's called an XTX Knight. <laughs> and uh, I actually got this from Alibaba. And so uh, I'll put the link in the description, but it's from Alibaba, and this was only about 30 bucks maybe. And obviously it's very thin, obviously the size of the M, you know, the, the small drive here doesn't need to be that large. It's got uh, holes on both sides for ventilation. It's all aluminum. And uh, obviously there's a lot of screws that I had to use to get into this thing, which I just kind of went through there. But basically it's, it's, it's um, you know, in order to pull off the, the piece here, you actually have to insert the uh, SSD drive in there to get it to work. So we're gonna do all that in here in a second and show you the speeds I get from it. Just keep in mind that when you get this, you're gonna look at it and you're gonna be like, I can't get that in there. Well, you have to actually take off the main board. So there's a lot of screws you gotta actually remove to get this, uh, to get the drive in the case. I haven't done it yet. Um, I actually removed the insides of it and I'm gonna go ahead and do that here in a second. But I'm gonna go ahead and get the drive here married uh, to the, you know, the enclosure. And then we're gonna go ahead and run the speeds in Blackmagic to see how fast this is. Uh, you know, it's an external SSD drive. How fast can that data be? Um, we are gonna be using, uh, obviously, a very fast cable. This is, uh, you know, obviously it's about, they say it's capable of like 10 gigabits per second. Um, I'm guessing, like I said, you know, if you, you, we did a video earlier where I did a standard SSD drive, external drive, and I was getting, you know, 512 megabytes per second. Hopefully this is gonna be faster, and if it is, then we'll definitely be able to run the OS off of it, and I'll show you guys how to do that. I have a 2017 iMac, and that's what I use for all my experiments, and I also have a 2011 as well. Um, but anyway, so this enclosure is about 30 bucks. It came with some heat, you know, shields, I guess, on here, um, the cable itself, and then basically just some screws and a little teeny screwdriver. And I'll put the link to that again, and also, this is something you can get, I'll put a link to it, but it's basically at uh, Micro Center. It's a Inland Premium, they get really good reviews. I mean, they're actually like five stars, for, and they're super cheap, 50 bucks for 500 gigs here at 3,100 megabits per second, so very fast. Um, in any case, let's go ahead, I'm gonna go ahead and build this, and then I'm gonna go over and do a screenshot here in a second, and we'll go through everything. All right, so really quickly, here's what everything looks like. This is the enclosure. Here's the drive that I'm using and uh, the cable and the little screwdriver that you get with it. So go ahead and take a look at this. Here's the drive up close. Again, it's the uh, Inland Premium SSD. You can get it at Micro Center, 3,100 megabits per, megabytes per second, 1,900 megabytes on the right. Here's a quick look at what it looks like. It's all aluminum. It's a, you know, it's obviously a little bit bigger than the hard drive itself, but it's pretty small. It looks a little bit bigger in this picture, but it's all aluminum construction. And uh, it does come with the cable here. That's actually a USB type C cable, um, capable of those 10 gigabit per second speed. So you can actually get the throughput to the SSD. Here's the little screwdriver and some screws that they come with. Uh, and you actually need to kind of unscrew everything to get it to work here. And I'll show you that here in a second. Here's uh, one more look at the system though, just to go ahead and take a look at it. So it's the XT-XINTE, and those are some lights there. The side of the unit also has these ventilation holes. You can take a look at them, it's all aluminum, and this will obviously for, be for heat dissipation. And then the front has the USB Type-C uh, connection uh, on the very front of the unit itself. And at the very bottom, uh, obviously there's some screws there. There's two screws that you have to take off, and uh, then you can open up the bottom of the unit, and this is what it looks like. And then basically you'll notice here right away that you can't put the drive in here. You actually actually have to take this out first. So there's some screws on this little black board here and you need to actually take the board out now. And here it is. So the board's out now and on the other side is where you actually insert the SSD drive. 
and you can see here this is where it's inserted so you'll insert it there and screw everything back in and then connect to the computer no power is needed all right so we're going to go ahead and connect now the uh the drive the external drive to your mac os and basically when you do this i want to just kind of show you what this is going to actually come up with so stay tuned here and let me go ahead and connect the drive all right so the disk is going to come up with this message saying that it's not readable um, by this computer so don't be alarmed by this and go ahead and you want to click on initialize So basically when you plug in a, 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 an external SSD like this, basically it will be unreadable. So it's gonna go ahead and load the disks now. All right, so once this comes up, uh, there's a couple things you wanna do here. So basically you can see that this is my, I have a bunch of different hard drives connected right now. So I wanna kinda of go through these really quickly. This is my uh, Fusion drive that I had that came with my Mac OS. This is the SSD one terabyte is the drive that I'm actually uh, booting from um, right now and I run it off my OS off of it. But um, this disc here is the new disc. It's called, I guess it's called <laughs> J Micron Tech Media. So that's obviously uh, the, probably the, where the uh, enclosure comes from. So a couple things you can do there is you can definitely, um, you know, obviously change that and uh, we'll go ahead and change that in a second. But long story short, uh, at least the name of it. Um, so what you wanna do here is once you click on the, the right drive and make sure absolutely positive on the right drive otherwise you can have a huge problem you don't want to erase your OS any either of these other uh, drives here so this is the one that I want to go ahead and do so I'm going to go up to erase which is right over here if you can see erase keep in mind though that it did uh, notify you know notify me right away that it sees 512 gigabytes which the disk is 500 gigabytes so that is spot on so at least it's recognizing it to that point um, and then you want to go to click on here erase up here it's up in the middle now this is going to come up. This is where you can actually name the drive. And since this is a you know specific drive, this is actually going to be an NVMe drive. I'm going to go ahead and, and call it that. I'm trying to type and talk at the same time doesn't work really good. Um, but go ahead and I named it that. So that's going to be that name of that drive. Now actually, what you want to do for the format is there's going to be a bunch of different things here. But you want to do you would definitely want to pick the Mac OS Extended Journal. So that's what it was on. And then for the scheme, you don't want to change anything if it's on GUID partition map. That's the other thing that you want to click and make sure it's on that. So once that's all set, there's an erase button over here. Again, confirm that you're on the right disk. Don't erase your standard disk. Always back up to before you try this. But go ahead and we'll erase this uh, external SSD drive. As you can see, it's going to go through the process now of erasing it and basically um, you know, it's gonna ask me a few questions here. It says, do you wanna use this uh, to back up with Time Machine? I'm going to say don't use because I'm gonna be using this for a different reason, so don't use here. It says erasing uh, J uh, Micron Tech Media, creating NVMe SSD, which is the name I gave it. And uh, I don't need to see the details, I'm gonna click done. And, uh, you know, now it's actually, uh, if I go ahead and click on it, it's 511.77 gigabytes NVMe SSD external physical volume. Um, there's only 448 megabytes used. Uh, again, 511 free. And uh, here it is available. So everything worked, looked like it worked perfectly with that enclosure. So the enclosure worked, and uh, I'll go ahead and give you guys... Uh, a shot of the enclosure too here in a second just to show you how it looks with all the lights on and stuff. Um, but let's go ahead and uh, well actually let me do that right now. All right, so we're back. So let's go ahead and test this out now. So I'm gonna actually, I'm gonna be booting from this soon. I'm gonna doing a, a video where I boot from uh, this this basically external drive. I'm gonna install Mac OS on it and I'm actually gonna boot from it. It should be way faster than my Fusion drive and way faster than my other SSD, but I'm not sure yet actually. So let's go ahead and try it out. So let me go ahead and I'm going to click out of this. This is actually um, the drives over here. You can see it in the upper right hand corner of my screen. And I'm gonna go back into, um, let me see here. I want to go ahead and pull open Black Magic, which is going to be something that I can test the speed of this new disk on. So I'll go into Launchpad, and obviously I downloaded this before, you may not have it, but there's Black Magic. What I want to do in here though is I want to make sure I have the correct drive selected so I'm not testing the wrong drive here. So there's a little uh, gear up here in the middle, and uh, I want to go ahead and select Target Drive. And I'm going to make sure I click on NVMe SSD over here in the left hand corner and click open. All right, that's all there is to it. So now we're actually on that target drive. And let's go ahead and see how fast this is. Again, this is an external drive I bought for 50 bucks, 500 gigabytes, 50 bucks inland from Micro Center. Look in the description. And then it's a 
30 or $40 enclosure, which I got from um, Alibaba or AliExpress, I believe, and I'll have a link to that as well. And let's go ahead and see what this can do. Holy cow, like as you can see now, I'm up to, it's not as, and maybe it's not as fast, there's some limitations of the connection, but you can see that it's actually 863 megabits per second and 909 on the reads. Um, it's gonna go through a couple different series of tests here, but it's about 860, you know, 865, somewhere in there. Um, and then for the reads, it looks like it's gonna be consistently up around 900 or a little bit over 900 on the first read, a little bit less this time. So, as you can see, that's an incredibly you know, fast SSD drive that we're actually booting off of. Actually, not booting off of yet, but it's just a data drive right now. So, I mean, obviously, if you just wanted to use this for a data drive, you could do that, and it would be extremely fast. All right, so was that as fast as you guys thought? Well, obviously, what I'm going to do next is, I mean, it was pretty fast, and I'm going to actually try to run the OS off of this now. So I'll do another video here shortly where I'm actually booting my OS off of this drive here, and uh, we'll see how fast, you know, obviously, I have a uh, Fusion Drive on my 2017 iMac, and I also have a 2011, but it's my 2011 isn't going to work with this uh, USB-C cable. So I'm going to use the 2017 and boot, boot the uh, Mac OS, you know, uh, Mojave right off of this enclosure. And uh, we'll go ahead and see how fast that is, and then we'll go ahead and uh, go from there. But I think it's going to be blazing fast, and I think it'll actually work really well. All right, thanks again for watching, everyone, and uh, definitely check out my videos. I make tons of videos on Macintosh, Apple, stuff like that, PC stuff, and then I also do investing as well. So go ahead and take a look at all my videos. I do kind of uh, these kind of uh, you know builds where I try different things, trying to build out you know the fastest this, the fastest that. So check it out and uh, definitely subscribe and help me out. Uh, trying to do like two or three uh, videos a week and things like that, but I got to get my subscriber base up to continue. So go ahead and subscribe, and uh, I'll talk to you guys in about a week.